गुड मॉर्निंग माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स क्लास फोर्थ माई सेल्फ मिस अलीमा शेख सो स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न इंग्लिश ग्रामर स्टूडेंट्स इन दैट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न चैप्टर नंबर टेन द सेंटेंसेस स्टूडेंट्स अगेन आई एम सेइंग टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न इंग्लिश ग्रामर ग्रेड फोर्थ मींस स्टैंडर्ड फोर्थ यूनिट टू in that we are going to learn chapter number 10 sentences students first of all what is a sentence a group of words that are used to express a thought and that makes sense is called a sentence For example, Ron is playing football. Second sentence: The sun rises in the east. So, students, both this group of words make complete sense. Therefore, these are sentences. When we speak, speak it or write, we make use of complete sentences. a sentence always begins with a capital letter and ends with a full stop students again i am saying a sentence always begins with a capital letter and ends with a full stop for example sam loves ice cream so students as you can see as the alphabet it is written in capital right sam loves ice cream and in the and there is a full stop right students now the second sentence the children are playing so students the t the alphabet t it is written in capital letter and in the and you can see there is a full stop the children are playing right students students as i told in the sentences the first word letter will be capital and in the and there is a full stop a sentence always begins with a capital letter and ends with a full stop right students now in that the second point question mark in the and you can see question mark or an exclamatory mark so students a sentence always begin with a capital letter and ends with a full stop or question mark or an exclamatory mark students read the given group of words in that very first one two water swim the second one this no print here third one so put it and the fourth one but he did not students this group of words do not make complete sense they do not begins with a capital letter nor do they end with a full stop so these are not a sentences students again i am saying read the given group of words in that the very first one two water swim the second one this no print here third one so put it and the fourth one 
but he did not students if you see the group of words are not in a sense not in a complete sense for that reason this is not a sentence this group of words do not make complete sense they do not begin with a capital letter nor do they end with the full stop so these are not a sentence now students there are types of sentences there are total four types of sentences are there but today i am going to explain you only three main types of sentences the very first one assertive sentence second one interrogative sentence and the third one exclamatory sentence now students there are four types of sentences but today i am going to explain you only three main types of sentences in that the very first one assertive sentence second one interrogative sentence and the third one exclamatory sentence so student first of all what is assertive sentence assertive sentence when a sentence saying something it is called an assertive sentence an assertive sentence ends with a full stop for example the teacher taught us a new lesson in the last there is a full stop and the very first letter start with a capital letter now second example david stood first in the race last there is a full stop and david the d alphabet it is written in capital letter so students again i am saying assertive sentence when a sentence says something it is called an assertive sentence an assertive sentence ends with a full stop now student the second one interrogative sentence now what is interrogative sentence mean when a sentence ask a question it is called an interrogative sentence a interrogative sentence ends with a question mark so students example where are we going question mark in the last there is a question mark and the very first letter start with the capital letter second example when will the train arrive in the last there is a question mark the third example are the seats comfortable question mark so students whenever in the sentence last there is a question mark it is a interrogative sentence students again i am saying when a sentence ask a question it is called an interrogative sentence a interrogative sentence ends with a question mark now student the third one exclamatory sentence students what is exclamatory sentence mean when a sentence express a strong feeling it is called an exclamatory sentence an exclamatory sentence ends with a exclamatory mark so here the example what a beautiful flower in the and there is a exclamatory sign second example hurry we won the match so students in the last there is a exclamatory sign how wonderful the girl sing in the last there is a exclamatory 
sign. So students, whenever in the sentence, the last, in the and, there is an exclamatory sign, means it is an exclamatory sentence. When a sentence express a strong feeling, it is called an exclamatory sentence. An exclamatory sentence ends with a exclamatory mark. So students, everyone understood the three types of sentences which I had explained you today. Students, just I am going to show you the example so that you can understand very well. Exercise number one. Let's identify each of the given sentence. So students, here the some sentences are written and we have to identify which sentence it is. So come to the very first one. Shh! Don't make a noise. In the last, there is an exclamatory. So, it's an exclamatory sentence. Now move to the second one. The zoo is near my house. And in the last, there is a dot. So, it's an assertive sentence. Because there is a dot in the last. In the sentence, in the and, there is a dot. So, it's an assertive sentence. Now move to the third one. Wow! What a beautiful picture. And in the last, there is an exclamatory. So, this sentence is an exclamatory sentence. Now move to the fourth one, students. What would you like to eat? In the last student, there is a question mark. So, this sentence is an interrogative sentence because in the end of the sentence, there is a question mark. So, this sentence is an interrogative sentence. Now, students, move to the fifth one. The ball fell in the basket. And the last, there is a full stop. So, students, whenever in the sentence there is a full stop, in the end, it is an assertive sentence. Now, students, move to the sixth question. How old are you? In the end, there is a question mark. Students, if the question mark is there, this is an interrogative sentence. Because in the end of the sentence, there is a question mark. So, students, everyone understood the exercise number one, which I had, which I had explained you now? Okay. Students, now, exercise number two. Students, whatever the question I am explaining you now is just an example. So that you can understand very well. So, come to the exercise number 2. The given sentences do not make sense. Let's try to correct them. So, here the question is saying that the four sentences are written. But the sentences are not in a proper sense. We have to write the sentences in a proper sense. In a correct order. The word should be written in a correct order so that it can be a sentence, a proper sentence. So students, first I am going to read the four question so that you can understand that the sentences are not written in a proper order, in a proper sense. Come to the very first question. Tall is my building very. As you can see students, the sentences are not in a proper order or not in a proper sense. Right? Second one. Healthy is water, drink, a coconut. The sentence is not written in a proper order, in a proper sense. Third one. Bright, it is sunny and today. The fourth one. Math, I learning love. So, students, the four sentences are not in a proper sense. We have to write the correct answer of the question. So, here the answer. The very first one. 
क्वेश्चन स्टूडेंट आई एम रीडिंग नाउ टॉल इज द बिल्डिंग वेरी सो द आंसर विल बी इन अ प्रॉपर सेंस द सेंटेंस शुड बी रिटर्न इन अ प्रॉपर सेंस सो द आंसर इज द बिल्डिंग इज वेरी टॉल एंड इन द लास्ट वी हैव टू गिव अ फुल स्टॉप राइट स्टूडेंट्स एंड द फर्स्ट लेटर शुड बी कैपिटल सो दिस इज अ असर्टिव सेंटेंस second one students i am reading the question first of all and then afterward i will say the answer healthy is water drink a coconut so students as you can see the sentence is not in a proper sense so the answer will be coconut water is a healthy drink and in the last we should put a full stop and the first letter will be capital right students now move to the third one the third question bright it is sunny and today the sentence in a proper sense means the answer it is bright and sunny today in the last we have to give a full stop and the very first letter will be capital now student the fourth one i am reading the question now math i learning love as you can see students the sentence is not in a proper sense so the answer will be i love learning math so students everyone understood how to write a proper sentence right students everyone understood how to make a sentence in a proper sense right students now move to the next exercise so students this is exercise number 2 but there is some difference in this exercise let's put the correct punctuation mark at the end of each sentence so here students some sentence are written we have to give a correct punctuation mark at the end of each sentence so students come to the very first one it is very cold today it's an assertive sentence so the sentence ended with full stop so students can you see the first one it is very cold today this sentence is an assertive sentence so we have to give a full stop now the second one where is my book it is an interrogative sentence so the sentence will be ended with the question mark students the third one ouch i hurt my toe it is an exclamatory sentence so students the sentence ended with the exclamatory sign now the fourth one sentence how much does it cost so students this sentence is a question right so it is an interrogative sentence it is an interrogative sentence so we will end this sentence with question mark now student the fifth one what a beautiful bird this is exclamatory sentence so the sentence ended with the exclamatory mark now the sixth one the last one ron was beat by a dog this is an assertive sentence so this sentence ended by full stop so students everyone understood now sentence and the types of sentences right everyone understood okay now everyone just open your combined book number 2 so students everyone just open your combined book number 2 and take out your pen so now i'm giving the notes of english grammar part 
as you can see english grammar and composition page start from 32 to 53 all so students the pic which is flash on your mobile phone is the page number 36 of your combined book number 2 so unit 2 chapter number 10 the sentences students the very first question arrange the jumbled word correctly to form a sensible sentences in that the very first one in fish the swims pond the so the answer will be the fish swims in the pond students the first letter should be capital so you can see the the word in that the t alphabet it is capital and in the end of the sentence there is a full stop right students now move to the second one at twinkle light the stars answer the stars twinkle at night in the last we have to give a full stop and the very first letter t should be capital now student the third one cricket matching my father tv on is a match so students as you can see the sentence is not in a proper order or not in a proper sense right so the answer will be my father is watching a cricket match on tv in the last we have to give a full stop and the first letter m should be capital now student the fourth one did not Salma yesterday school to come answer Salma did not come to school yesterday so students in the last we have to put a full stop and the S letter should be written in a capital letter so students now fifth one the flew over high the eagle mountains so the answer will be the eagle flew high over the mountains in the last we have to put a full stop and the first letter t should be capital now student the sixth one bought wedding mother a sari new the for reception so the sentence will be mother bought a new sari for the wedding reception in the last we have to put a full stop and the m letter should be capital now the seventh one cat my fish loves snowy to eat the answer will be my cat snowy loves to eat fish in the last full stop and the very first letter m should be capital so students we had completed the page number 36 now move to the page number 37 so students in page number 37 the top one eighth one a church school there is near the so the answer will be there is a church near the school in the last we have to put a full stop and the t alphabet should be capital now student the next question from as many sentence says as you can by joining the words given in the columns so here in the column the first word is my sister played with the ball then afterward next line my sister likes milk and biscuits third one the dog likes milk and biscuits fourth one my sister played during the day then next the dog played with the ball next will be the teacher likes milk and biscuits the sun shines during the day so students whatever the words I have written in the column you have to write down in the downside where the answer is written you have to write in a sentence wise 
you should not make a column directly you have to write in a sentence wise as you can see in this pic right students so students i had given the notes of page number 36 and 37 so students if you have any doubt regarding the explanation or about the homework you can call me and whatsapp me on my personal number so students thank you for watching the video